You know, our relationship with Jesus Christ is really uh, the reason we're here in this church. Uh, and that relationship uh, is really an expression of God's love for each and every one of us. Uh, you know, we heard uh, in St. Luke's Gospel today really a fantastic moment. It really is a fantastic moment. And you can imagine being one of the disciples. And uh, the reading that took place right before this is when the disciples who were discouraged, Jesus had just been crucified, there was no hope whatsoever, and they were on their way to Emmaus, away from Jerusalem. And Jesus appeared to them on the road, and we hear the scriptures, they recognized him in the breaking of the bread. And so they rushed back to Jerusalem. <laughs> because they were so excited that they had seen the Lord. And that's really the invitation for us, to enter into that kind of joy, that the Lord is here with us, and especially that he'll be here with us on the altar in his body and blood. But he's gonna be here also for you young people receiving the sacrament of confirmation with chrism. And so as they're telling the story, we've seen the Lord, he's alive, he's with us now. And all of a sudden he appears. And you can imagine, they look around, they go, ha, ha, he's gotta be a ghost. I mean, they're afraid, they're afraid initially. And Jesus says to them something quite wonderful. He says, peace be with you. Now you notice at the beginning of Mass, that's what I said to you. Peace be with you. And the peace he's offering is the peace of heaven. Because he's risen from the dead. It's the peace of heaven, it's not the peace of earth that goes away. It's the peace of heaven that he's offering us. And so he spoke that peace to them, one to calm them down, because they thought they really were seeing a ghost but also to say to them, trust me, as I told you, the Savior, the Christ, the Anointed One, had to die on the cross, had to suffer for the salvation of all. And so the Jesus who died on the cross appeared to them and said to them, I love you so much, I'm willing to show you my hands crucified, my side crucified, my feet crucified for you and for me. It's really a powerful statement of love. And his appearance, recalled to us in the Gospel of St. Luke tonight, is a powerful statement also that death has no more power over us. Wow, what a statement. Death has no more power over us. You know, I, I, one of the humorous folks was talking about uh, uh, life and talking about death a little bit. And he said just simply, none of us are going to get out of this alive. <laughs> That's what he said. Now, there's truth to that, but that is not the whole truth. The whole truth for those of us who believe, and that's what tonight's about, our statement of belief in Him, is that He died for us personally, that He loves us that much personally, and that He is risen from the dead and invites us to rise from the dead with Him, with Him. My pectoral cross is Jesus rising from the dead. This is the same cross that our Holy Father, Pope Francis, wears. And it's an invitation for us to truly believe that no matter what's going on in our lives, He's there. And that He's risen from the dead. Now think about that. Facing difficulties, facing problems, facing struggles at school, facing which college am I going to go to, whatever the young people are really facing. Jesus is risen from the dead. 
It changes every single moment, whether it's a family problem, a personal problem, whatever it may be, or it's a moment of great joy. Because when the disciples realized he was there, he was there, he was really there, they couldn't get enough of him. They really wanted to wrap their arms around him and hold him forever. That's really what the moment was about. And that's really the invitation for us, to hold on him forever and to let his love truly flow in our lives. It is a gift that he has given us. And he calls us to witness to that gift of love. And he calls us to truly be his disciples that speak the resurrection to the world. That yes, none of us are getting out of this alive, but that there's more that we are to be we are to rise from the dead with him. And so he calls forth each of us in discipleship. So tonight we have a number of our young people that we are inviting into discipleship in the sacrament of confirmation. You're going to need your cards here pretty fast, especially if you have a brain freeze. All right. So part of the discipleship is letting the Holy Spirit into our lives and letting that spirit of the resurrection truly change our lives. And so the gifts of the Spirit that you are praying for tonight, that you want to receive, are wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, fear of the Lord. Yay! Yay! That's what we're praying for, for you. All the gifts of the Spirit. So imagine having the wisdom of Jesus crucified and Jesus risen from the dead in your life. Imagine having the understanding and the knowledge of life in the spirit of the resurrection. Imagine being able to counsel with God, especially with the stuff of life that happens. Imagine that gift in your life. To know what's right, what's wrong. Imagine receiving tonight the fortitude, the strength to speak Jesus' name, risen from the dead, no matter what. Imagine being able to recognize Jesus in your life. Wow, no matter what. Imagine being a person of prayer, piety, who is a sign of the love of God, especially in relationship, because that's what prayer is in the end, it's relationship. And then imagine that we recognize ourselves as creations, creatures that God loves, the fear of the Lord. We're praying for all of those gifts for you. It is the risen Lord Jesus who is appearing to you tonight and just as the Spirit of God came upon the disciples in the Acts of the Apostles and he came in a driving wind and he flowed over each and every one of them he does the same for us and tongues of fire are over you now let that spirit flow in your lives change your lives and lift you up as his disciples, as his great witnesses of love. For he is risen from the dead. Give me an amen. Amen. He is risen from the dead and is alive in our midst. Give me another one. Amen. He is with us now to give us the gift of his Holy Spirit. Give me another one. Amen. 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 So we pray for each of you that the sacrament of confirmation, the gifts of the Holy Spirit will be yours. I'd ask now each of those to be confirmed to please stand.